do you see that do you have those conversations in 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 america because over here in europe with all us immigrant kids and um, the very diaspora we really have this idea of yeah man when we were a child we were watching american movies we listening to american music wearing american clothes and that's really ch changing it already changed in the netherlands we don't really look at america like that anymore as we mm. used to do you realize that too and do you talk with your peers in america about this stuff are, is that is are yeah, they are they, are they are they i don't I have a feeling that they're not really aware of that there's a lot of people who are not aware but uh fortunately i live in a society where there's a lot of diversity and a lot of people come from all over the world to uh try to find success in the bay area and so i grew up a around a lot of people that have a similar thought process to me um it's it's almost like another layer of duality because my home life wasn't my street life or my studio life or then i had my corporate life and so when i was doing silicon valley stuff you're around some of the most brilliant people in the world and you're hearing things that kind of spur your your curiosity and then um when you're in the studios and you're around other segments of life it makes you, it gives you like this wide perspective And you, and you're like, a lot of times the truth lies in the middle. And how do you calibrate that to make it make sense for your life? So a lot of that stuff translated into my adult executive life and gave me a foundation of my thought process and the way I look at things. Um, I'm not trying to weave a web of uh, nonsense. It's kind of like how my brain operates. Um, some people think I'm speaking in the abstract, but it's really how my brain operates. Mm -hmm. And so it's also why... Uh, as an American company, we're enjoying so much international success because I always had that lens and that approach. And I was like, when the time is right, this is going to all make sense. So for years, I'm putting territory managers all over the world in other countries. And people are like, why are you doing that? And I was like, the world is shrinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, Roxy, how long have you been with Empire? Six years. So, yeah. so we, you know, we hired somebody in the Netherlands six years ago. Mm -hmm. That was a lot for us at the time because yeah. we were probably 45 employees. So you're already looking outside of, of the country um, to hire people externally in other markets. And it helped you. Yeah, and even when I hired um, someone like her, it was because she had a duality. She can speak Chinese and Dutch. So she had a Western lens and an Eastern lens. You speak Dutch? I'm speaking English with you all the time. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so she can, she can see things through multiple lenses. And yeah. I, I try to uh, employ people that I can work alongside that have multi multifaceted lenses. Yeah. But how, how did you grow up um, with the music? Because you have a duality. You have a, you can, you're Palestinian, right? Yeah. Okay, so you have different kinds of music that you grew up to, but there yeah. are like other people, maybe African-Americans, they only have the type of music they introduced to in America. Yeah. How did you uh, bring those people around more global music? Because... Um, We have this view that most Americans, they're so narrow-minded, they only yeah. see America. Because sometimes I, I read comments of like academics or stuff, yeah. and then they post something about Fives Cartel coming free, and they're like, who the fuck is this? Why are you posting this? Or that right. Wizkid um, uh, had a tour, and they're like, yeah, why are you posting this guy? Who is this? Um, not, so. not all markets in America are the same, so it's going to be market-specific. 